David White was a TV actor best known for portraying Larry Tate on Bewitched. David portrayed the character over the course of the series' entire run, but also had success outside of the show, acting in both films and other series. Sadly, despite his success as an actor, his life was filled with tragedies. Join Facts First as we take a look at how Bewitched star David White died in seclusion after years of suffering. David White was born in Denver, Colorado on April 4, 1916. While he was still young, David's family moved to a borough of Philadelphia called Phoenixville. After high school, he moved to California, dreaming of becoming an actor. He attended school at L.A. City College. When he wasn't studying, David could be found honing his acting skills at the Pasadena Playhouse. When World War II came around, David took a break from pursuing his dreams to enlist in the U.S. Marine Corps. Following his time in service, David went to New York City and managed to secure a role on Broadway. The aspiring actor made his debut on the stage in 1949 in a play called Leaf and Bow. His big break on Broadway paved the way for the future star to break into television. Some of the many series that David White made appearances on before joining the cast of Bewitched include One Step Beyond and Perry Mason. David played a cop on the former series, while he played two separate characters on two different episodes of the latter. The first episode of Perry Mason he appeared in was called The Case of the Mad Cat Modiste, and it premiered in 1960. He played a character named Henry DeGarmo. Several years later, he played an antagonistic newspaper editor named Victor Kendall in a subsequent Perry Mason episode called The Case of the Witless Witness. He also appeared in two episodes of The Twilight Zone, playing Detective Burr in an episode called An Out for Oscar and Lance Hawthorne in The Dark Pool. The many other TV series he appeared on before his breakout turn in Bewitched include The Fugitive, Mission Impossible, Alfred Hitchcock Presents, and Bonanza. While most of David White's most memorable work was on television, he also appeared in films several times. Before Bewitched, he was in the films Sweet Smell of Success, The Apartment, and Sunrise at Campobello. In 1964, David was cast in the role of Larry Tate. Larry was the boss of main character Darren Stevens on Bewitched. While two different actors played Darren over the course of Bewitched's run, David played Larry the whole time. Elizabeth Montgomery was the true star of the series, playing Samantha Stevens. She was a witch trying to hide her supernatural powers to fit into the world of her mortal human husband. Later on in the show's run, a new cast member was added in the form of Aaron Murphy. Aaron played the daughter of Samantha and Darren. Of all the show's main cast members, Aaron is the only one still around. She appeared in 103 episodes, while David played the character Larry Tate in 191. There were 254 episodes total, meaning both David and Aaron had a relatively large presence on the series. But few characters remain quite as iconic as Larry Tate. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. And stick around for a lot more about David White. While the character of Larry Tate won audiences over with his comical bad behavior, David White couldn't have been a nicer person. David claimed he wouldn't have been able to get his gig on the series if he'd been as rude of a person as Larry Tate, though the actor certainly did a great job performing in the role. Bewitched lasted from 1964 to 72. After the series ended, David White continued performing in the industry for well over a decade, before his life turned tragic towards its end. Following Bewitched, some of the many series he could be seen in included The Rockford Files, The Love Boat, and Dallas. David White also did some voiceover work in the late 70s. He could be heard performing the role of J. Jonah Jameson in the pilot for the 1977 animated series The Amazing Spider-Man. He also continued his sporadic film career after Bewitched's end, appearing in the film Snowball Express and in the comedy The Happy Hooker Goes to Washington in 1977. With a decade-spanning career behind him, David made his last acting appearance in a 1986 episode of the show Dynasty. David was married two times over the course of his life, with his first wife being a notable Broadway actress named Mary Welch. Mary was quite the star in the 50s, having made her debut in a 1944 production of Little Women. Sadly, their marriage ended up proving short-lived. Three years into it, the two welcomed a son into their lives. But while Mary was pregnant with their second child, she sadly passed away as a result of complications with her blood. Mary's death was arduous, with the esteemed actress suffering for weeks in the hospital before eventually succumbing. David then found himself a single father to son Jonathan. But the death of Mary Welch wasn't David's only brush with familial tragedy. Despite the massive impact the death of his first wife had on him emotionally, David remarried only a year later. His second wife was a woman named Lisa Figus, also an actress. Lisa appeared on The Rockford Files and several episodes of General Hospital. They remained married until David's 1990 death. 
Lisa lived until 2017, passing away at 93. Her last acting credit was in a 1994 episode of Days of Our Lives. With his new wife, Lisa, David White likely thought he'd carved out a nice future. But things took a dark turn when a second tragedy came crashing down upon the star. In 1988, Jonathan White passed away in the terrorist bombing of Pan Am Flight 103. That notable bombing occurred on December 21st and killed 270 people. After the death of his son in 1988, David White was devastated. He went into a period of seclusion, and this ended with the actor dying of a heart attack in 1990. His death occurred just days before the second anniversary of his son's death. David's second wife and their daughter survived him. David had always been incredibly close with his son, especially considering the fact that Mary Welch had passed away while attempting to give birth to their second child. At the time of David's death, the beloved television star was 74. He was cremated and his remains are at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery in Los Angeles. Before his death, David shared some of his favorite episodes of Bewitched. His favorite scene was in the fourth season episode Toys in Babeland, which saw the character of Larry Tate sharing a drink with a life-sized toy come to life. Now it's time to hear from you. Which part of David's story was most surprising to hear about? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.